Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. I am also Knight, your friendly neighbor random person. And in this episode I finally found that freaking wonder chef. You gosh darn... I don't even know. D you're, you delusive daisy you. Meat suit requires two tapping for some type of meat and kelp. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Just leave, please, out of my life. Alright, so. Turns out he is in the second floor of Aisha's house, and yes, it is her house, as we got confirmation of in the last episode. Uh, speaking of which, in the last episode, we um, discovered that the wind spirit. That everybody, or what everyone thought was the summit bird of wind, was actually a big fat phony. I apologize if you, I apologize for that reference, I'm so sorry. Um, was, um, and, and in fact, that the real summit spirit, uh, was in the Bullockruff, uh, me, me, mouse, um, the Bullockruff taco. And we're gonna go there now, because we can, uh, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, also we need to advance the plot and all that boring stuff, you know. Nothing particularly exciting, or maybe it is, we'll find out when we get there. Also these caterpies really should go on a freaking diet, I mean really now. And as we head east, into the land of the rising sun, we discover a something we haven't crossed in a while, a bridge. I'm not actually even sure if we've crossed the bridge ever in this game. Also, there's enemies blocking my way. Oh great, these enemies. Freaking, I thought th these enemies are so post- oh, so just, just cut it out, man. Just cut it out. You can't. You just can't. So I quite recently found out that, in fact, you can actually pass through this upcoming dungeon quite quickly. And yes, spoilers, it is indeed a dungeon. What else would you could you possibly think it to be? I don't understand. Oh, there we have it. It looks like some kind of Maya. Maya, or Mes Mesoamerica. Mesoamerican, uh, uh something. Climb the central stairway and offer the map at the altar. Yes, professor. Oh. Yeah, that sure was a climb. It's like, oh, there's another dog. That first. Hello? Yep. What the heck? I didn't name this dog previously. How come he's already got a name? Because obviously I'm the only... Oh. It's your dog. Oh. Uh, all right. I I thought I thought I was the only human being in the universe who had the ability to name their dogs, but I guess not. I came to see the room, but the answer is shut, and I can't get in. Well, let me fix that for you, lowly citizen, by climbing the stairway and using the map of Balakruf. Colette shall open the path to true prosperity. It seems to be responding to the map of Balakruf. Indeed, it does. I think. Oh, well, that sure is a nice pixelated map. Whoa! S things happen. It's an oracle stone. Just like we thought, this is a seal. Huh, <laughs> how silly of me to not think so. Yeah, I know. There we go. Let's hurry up and get this over with. And that is what I plan to do, cause unless I remember incorrectly, you can run through this dungeon quite quickly, in fact, actually. Hey, this is pretty cool, I feel like an explorer. You always start enthusiastic. I can hear the sound of wind. Oh, really? Because it isn't, it's not like this is the summon spirit of wind's dungeon or anything. Also here we have a freaking memory seal, we can't unlock it though, if you didn't already guess that. So, uh, a big thing about this whole dungeon here is lighting those candles on fire. What does it do? I am honestly not entirely sure. Ow. Sure. Ow. Uh, is it possible to actually... Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of harmful things in here, if you didn't already guess it. And they will harm you. And... Oh, okay. I guess there was an enemy there. 
In this dungeon we will find uh, a, a wide variety of skeletons and humongous demon spiders from hell. Uh, oh! Wow, see... Freaking... 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 Seriously? Uh, I... But... In the water seal, I went grinding enemies. I, I, gr I ground up enemies into dust. I did not find a single solitary memory gem. And the first thing I kill in this place gives me a memory gem. Isn't that just amazing, folks? Also, here's some harpies. They have boobies. Not much else to say. They fly. Nothing too particularly tough. So anyway, if I'm allowed to comment a little bit on those freaking wonder chefs, I will not be having nearly as much trouble finding them anymore, because I found a list on the internet, I love the internet, which lists the locations of every single wonder chef in the entire game. Freaking... Let me pass! Ah. Gosh darn. Okay, wh what does this do? I don't know. I'll just push it places. I probably wasn't supposed to do that. The bulk of our people of the wind, they are born with wind, live with the summon spirit, and become as wind as the when they die. Yeah, that sure is poetic. <laughs> More like pathetic. Uh, I'm funny, I swear, sometimes. Mom says I'm funny. Okay, I... Oh, right, we're supposed to go over here now. Correct. Alright, I need to do some cooking, because we're all low on health. Uh, Genus should probably do the cooking on the party because he's always the one with the highest probability of, well, having his dishes turn out most successfully, so, you know. And, uh, also today I learned, uh, omelette supposedly cures poison. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that, that, so that's a thing that happens. Uh, cook dish, please. Cooked meats do. HP recovery 70%, TP recovery, attack up for next battle. Heck yeah. No, I really didn't know that meat stew was actually that badass, but I think I should start eating it more. Because now everybody will have plus attack, and that's awesome. Heck yes. Also, we have these stupid wind balls. Just like with every other dungeon place we've been to. There are elemental balls all over the place. During that battle, I do indeed believe that Genus gained a title. I'm not sure... Lloyd did too? No, 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 it didn't. Alright, so, uh, Genus gained level, uh, gained, got to level 20, and, uh, well, there we go, HP and TP, the title for the one who controls the flow of mana with intelligence and technique. The Sorcerer. Amazing. Alright, so where does the wind? <laughs> well, the wind of change is too dark. Oh, right, because of the wind. Ah, uh, right. I uh, remember what we have to do now. That which the blue wind pro princess heads from the throne. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure if we actually do need to read those things. I'm pretty sure we don't now, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, so, up here is the place that we need to go. To finish the place. <laughs> I just keep saying uh, very vague things about everything, but uh, yeah. And here's a chest. If you could call that, and here's another chest. Uh, but it could be some equipment. That's always nice. Especially for free. Uh, something I've come to realize. You don't usually actually need to purchase uh, equipment in Tales of Games, because usually you'll just find it in a chest anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, also this, Beast Hide. Ah yeah. Alright, so the only specific reason for you, you would have to... If you're gonna read all those inscripted things on the walls, you would have to place these blocks upon these pedestals over here to block the wind, so you could light up the flames and then read what it says, but... You don't need to do that. Uh, the reason you would have to do that, because every single... I believe every single one of those gives a hint on something that we need to do in the next room. Um, the king travels, uh, yeah, I think something like that. Uh, which, by the way, if you didn't already see that earlier, we passed by a changey thingy Magoo. Magu. The sorcerer ring is acting weird, because it makes wind. 
Huh, you know what? I can make wind, too. It's not too popular, though, most of the time. Uh, okay, so we don't can't freeze enemies with wind. So I'm just gonna have to sneak past this little mofo here. And up here is a room. Actually, forget that. We gotta see what's going on outside. Sheena is still stalking us. Growl. Corin! Renamon, go! Use Thunder Smash. Supposedly, Noish is afraid of small little uh, fox dog hybrids that have blue tails. That's good to. Oh, I guess there's a reason they call it tail stuff. But anyway, uh, you need to blow things in a specific order to have these things function. Uh, now, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to do this. Because that's what you would use those hints for, I do believe. Um, I believe you always gotta end off with the blue one. That's like the, uh, the general rule here. By the way, I think I'm gonna use a holy bottle so these enemies don't run into me. A holy aura surrounds the party. Now we're sparkling! Yeah! Alright, let's try red, green... Yellow, white, you know, with the clock and all that. It's a, yeah, that cracks the wall over there, which reveals another enemy, but more importantly... A, X-Gem level 2. Heck yes. Alright. Now I'm actually gonna place an X-Gem on Genus, which does something, I think. Well, do I want to place it on Genus? Ah, uh, hmm... Well, that's a difficult one. How about... How about Rain? I think she has some awesome stuff uh, that we could really use, considering that she's the healer and all. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Increases max TP. That's always nice. Uh, occasionally nullifies receive damage. Increases elemental defense and... Ah, yes. Now this is a good one. Decreases non-battle TP consumption to one at save points, which means that she only uses one TP when she's gonna use... For example, if you stand in a save point and you use frigging... Use uh, first aid or whatever to heal yourself, in instead of taking, uh, let's see, or instead of using up uh, eight TP, you use only one TP per time, like every single time you use first aid at a save point, and that's really, really practical, which is why I would, I really had hoped that was what we were gonna get with her X-Gem level 2 thingy, and it was. Today is a good day to be Ulcer Knight. And not all days are good days to be Ulcer Knight. Now, let's see if I can remember the way we have to the way we have to touch the records, the way we have to make the winds of change go ahead and blow upon us to proceed. Uh, I, it doesn't seem like it, but hey, you know, I could always try. I believe this is, oh, did I? No, I didn't get it. Didn't really think so. I may have been wrong with my rule of uh, using the blue fan at the very end. Uh, you know what, I'll be right back from the internet. Yeah, I'm... S see you guys in like 10 seconds. Okay, fun fact. If we do this, one, two, three, four, five, the wall over to the left of us will explode with an enemy with a, gi with a giant bitey skull over here. But not only that, but also a... Blue Ribbon! Yeah, more equipment that we don't really need, but it's gonna be practical anyway. Uh, yeah, I think, I definitely think the Blue Ribbon is better, yeah. Alright, on to the next one. Now, let us have a look-see here. Alright, I got it. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Now the wall over here should open. No, I think I already did this, but I didn't open the door. I didn't know you had to open the door manually, but okay then. So, anyway, let us head up the stairs to see what's ahead. Well, let's hope it's not Sheena, because that wouldn't make any sense. At all. We're finally at the altar. I'm sick of dungeons. 
You have no patience. Well, wait, I sense incredible mana. Oh, I'm getting a deja vu. I'm getting a little deja vuzy, if you will. Oh, that sucks. Oh, and blows. <laughs> oh, me and my wind puns. Whoa! 